Hey guys, it's Stevie and I just wanted to say hello to you all. I've never done a video like this, but I thought why not? Um, I just got some great news. Um, as some of you may know, uh, we're heading over to Asia, to Singapore and Malaysia with High Five Holiday. We, we leave this weekend and we're super pumped about that. But uh, we also just found out that we're uh, heading to Cambodia uh, with World Vision, which is the most amazing news and I'm so excited and I wanted to share that with you guys um, because it's something that's really special to all of us um, in High Five. So it's going to be uh, an amazing adventure. We're ambassadors for World Vision. We were lucky enough in 2009 to travel uh, to the Philippines and visit Cebu and we visited a few of the camps that World Vision had there and uh, that was a phenomenal experience. I still remember um, the faces of the children that we met there. We went into the camps, we went to schools, and um, the, the kids there were just, you know, were just beautiful. And I think that day for all of us in High Five, we really learnt that every kid, no matter where in the world or how rich or poor they are, they, they just want to have fun. So I guess for us, being new members of High Five at the time, that was a really important lesson to learn. And I guess going forward, it's, you know, I'm looking forward to a similar experience in Cambodia. I remember in Cebu, going into um, some of these schools and meeting these kids, and then we would do little exercises like, let's draw each other's houses. And, and, uh, and it was so special to get such an insight into their world and to see what World Vision was doing over there. Um, I sponsor a child myself through World Vision and it's sort of amazing to see the other side of what actually happens and with that sponsorship and what, what happens to the community around it. So uh, it was amazing. I remember we met uh, a teacher there and the teacher had been a sponsored child of an Australian family and um, she always wanted to be a teacher and World Vision helped her be a teacher and then she and then in her classroom that she taught about 15 kids wanted to be teachers again and you could see sort of what would happen in the future and, and I guess that's how real change happens is sort of long term um, but anyway so we're heading to Cambodia in a few weeks and I know nothing about Cambodia so I thought well this is a great opportunity to learn about a new country um, that I don't know about and um, yeah I'm sure it's going to be a phenomenal experience now some of you might know about Cambodia um, but I thought I'd look I'd just check up some facts which is I like to sort of look up a little bit of information on the new countries that we go to and uh, so I found a couple of things about Cambodia so the official name is the Kingdom of Cambodia so it's a kingdom, which I think is really cool. Um, and also, um, so where Cambodia is at at the moment is there's 14 million people there. That's the population uh, compared to Australia, which is about 23 million. And of those 14 million, about 40% are living below the poverty line. So when I read that, it's like 40%, that's almost half. That's many, many, many millions of people living below the poverty line. So I guess that sort of gives me an insight before we get there on what to expect. I also found out that the average annual wage is about 250 Australian dollars, which isn't much, really. Um, 250 bucks for the year. And then um, through the reason Cambodia's in the position that it is now is it, it's sort of suffered through three decades of civil war and unrest and that uh, has in turn sort of had an effect on the entire population. But, you know, Cambodia's on the up, and I guess it's through organizations like World Vision that, that sort of is, uh, the Cambodian people that, you know, uh, are able to see a, a brighter future. So I'm really looking forward to that. And a lot of the blogs that I've read about Cambodia, they talk about, um, you know, be prepared for the, the beggars there, and that you'll see a lot of landmine victims. And I guess the reason I'm doing uh, this video blog is because um, for me, I want to remember the feeling sort of before, during and after of what this whole experience was like visiting, um, visiting Cambodia with World Vision. And also I want to, um, I wanted to share it with people. 
because I guess that's sort of the whole point of us being ambassadors for World Vision is to sort of share what we learn with as many people as possible. So I guess that's that's it. You know, um, you know, I I'm excited about going there. I'm I'm nervous about what we will see and how how that'll affect us. Um, but I think ultimately it's going to be an amazing journey and sort of perfect timing you know we get the the fun part of high five holiday which is the singing and dancing we do that in Singapore and Malaysia where we just have such beautiful fans and um, and then going to Cambodia to really learn and that's something that I, I can't wait um, wait for I'm sure when we get there we'll sing for the kids and we'll, we'll, again we'll try and we'll try and have as much fun as possible with the children and even even something as simple as kicking a soccer ball or whatever it is, you know, as high five members will do what we do. But I think uh, as much as we'll be sort of trying to make people smile, I think uh, in turn we'll be learning a lot and uh, hopefully be able to share it with everyone. So anyway, that's me, Stevie, and and that's uh, the reason I'm doing this video. And I can't wait for to share what we learn and what we see. And it's going to be so much fun. So all the best and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.